Hello everyone, Warangel here, and welcome back to the final episode of the Tao Sing campaign. Now I need to start this video off with an apology, because I did not want the campaign to end the way that it's going to. However, thanks to some mishaps that occurred when recording, I have no choice but to do it this way, so I do apologize. Now, what basically happened was, earlier today, I loaded up the save file from the end of the last episode, where Boris Todwinger was laying siege to the Lorenlorn Forest, and I played through about 8-9 turns, going by the turn counter here, in order to get us in a position to start recording for today's episode. So, Ryan took a whole bunch of settlements over here from Nagaroth and start. I wanted to start things with him laying siege to Grand, which was their last capital, well, last settlement. It was lightly armed, defended, we also resolved the victory, but I wanted to show the Ford of Nagaroth on the video. So we ended up laying siege to it there. We defended the Aphrolon Forest against a whole bunch of enemies from Cal Franz, Esper von Draken, Volkmar the Grim, Thorgrim Grudgebearer, and so on and so on. So that was fun. Not. <laughs> and also then, but anyway, got into position and to start the video. So I started recording, we defeated Nagaroth Nago by taking Grand in an auto resolve we killed Lockyer down here, Morafi died when she sent herself and three badly damaged units to attack Hagenef, didn't work out for her as you can imagine with the full stack here. We then sailed, sailed down here, we attacked the Circle of Destruction where Blana the Wise had a full stack, composing of regiments of renown like the Pure Main Company, uh, Shadow Warriors and uh, whatchamacallit, Spearmen, and it was a surprisingly close fight. We end up losing three units of Eternal Guards, but we managed to win the fight. We then got up to here, where I saw then that Alariel, during the end turn phase, two end phases ago, came out of the Fog of War and was heading up towards Grand. So I set sail then with Orion, who's not fully replenished, but he managed to get a couple of units back through global recruitments and they managed to get some health back. He landed here and during the last end turn phase I saw Lothan then take Grand. So that's their last army in the last settlement. However, during that end turn phase OBS crashed. Don't know why, just came out of nowhere, just popped up on the screen. And because it crashed it actually corrupted the video file with everything that's happened that was going to be in this episode. So I thought to myself, okay, it's a pain in the backside, but I'd be able to just load up the save file from the beginning of the episode and just do everything again. I forgot to save, didn't I? So the last save file I had, apart from the auto resolve at the end of the last turn, was all the way back with Boris Todwinger, and I just I couldn't face having to fight all of those battles again just to get to this point. So what I'm going to do is complete the objective. We are going to take Lothan out of the campaign and then we're going to call it quits. I feel that's a good enough ending for me at this point. So with that said, let's just get things going. So can you actually reach him this turn? No. You can just see the slight bit of red. Right. In that case, I'm just going to move you up towards here. I really don't care about replenishment. You guys will be able to take them out easily enough, I'm sure. Now, I did see, yeah, Delina's back. So you can pop here. Right, why you do that? What next? Right. So, this character here, Samrath, has actually been extremely good defending the southern entrances here. She's defeated Volkmar, she's defeated a couple, one or two others, in fact. Let me check. Yeah, Marcus Wolfhart. Iben. Oh, yeah, and Volkmar. Yeah, so she's actually done pretty okay. Now, let's put you into ambush so we can try and deal with this army here. Who's leading it? Oh, it's Edward van der Kral, but they're missing his name. Okay. Alright, Draker. I can't feel bothered. Fame. It looks like we'll finish the episode next turn, so I don't need to worry about replenishment. Dyeth is fine. He's set up to do any ambushes in case these guys come down. Okay, Findel. Now, I remember setting him up in an ambush because 
For some reason, if I show you here, Lucretia Belladonna, she's level 35. You can see, got a gold shelf on troops, but not that many. And she's got a tier 2 garrison with a couple of units, right? But not much to it. Now if I go and do this, and again, don't care, right? Bands bar, very much against me. Right? Apparently there's no way we're going to win this. So, I'm just going to leave her to it, right? She can have that, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so that's a Fios. She had come down from Albion, she had basically conquered the land, it's now been retaken, I believe. Yeah, we've still got the Eye of Whites, but Hans Pritzcock is going to be taking that, it looks like. Now, let's get you to head up to here. I want to try and set up ambushes, so we can deal with these two if possible. Alright, so you go up here. Alright, Durfu has just been having fun, to be honest, over here. I'm actually going to send you over here so we can go after the Fortress of the Damned. I think that's quite fitting. I mean, I feel like that today, after the recording. I spent ages doing it. That's what's annoyed me, is that I spent ages trying to get it sorted. And even when I found out what happened, I tried to see if I can find a way about around it. No, just didn't want to work. But anyway, let's get through all of this. Hit enter. And I'm going to skip through this, unless something happens of interest. But if not, then I'll see you guys in the next turn. Right. Well, nothing to really speak of. Unfortunately, my ambush was detected, so I didn't have to worry about that. Baha nearly got wounded, but managed to pick up the trade fortunate instead. That was pretty handy. But apart from that, we lost a settlement on Albion. We lost the Black Pillar because of this... Ooh, Beastman Rebel Army, and that's about it, really. <laughs> Alright, oh, and Avex back. That's something. In fact, let me have a quick look before we actually do the final attack. Because if I click this, we'll go past the Norskan army here. And yeah, you can see, I can just click this and it'll be over. So let me just have a quick look at the other armies so far. In Avex, welcome back. Now, what's your chance of actually taking out Vespa? Failure. Oh, that would have been fitting. Vespa has been a pain in Ilaric's side, especially during the last few turns. Every time he's recovered from his injuries, I send him off to do something, and then she tracks him down and injures him. So, that would have been quite nice if we actually saw him defeat her. But, oh well. Okay, what happened to you? You've done a runner. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep you in ambush, just in case. Dryker can stay where she is, that's fine. Alright, Diaf got Wolfram Hertwig coming up. Ooh, that's a tough army. Right, not that I need to worry. Durfu, are you in a position to take the Fortress of the Damned? I think that would be quite nice if you could. I get you back into positive amber, at least. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Why? Uh, burn it to down. Glad. We'll take it back next turn. It's fine. Alright, so that's Durfu. Findol is just going to stay where he is, to be honest. Circo, the same. We have Albrick right here. Perfect opportunity to go after him with Zatfios. Right. I have a bad feeling about this, but like I said, my focus was just defeating Lothar. So I'm just going to hold myself. A perfect victory. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, kill off the captives, and let's move you back to here. Okay, now that you've already moved, and then all that leaves now is Orion. Right, we'll do that. Now I could fight the battle, right? But to be honest with you, I don't see the point. We know we're gonna win. I think the only way I could lose is if I actually tried my hardest to lose. So, there we go. <laughs> a close victory apparently, but... We managed to take a bunch of gold, take back Grand. 
And we now got this event. Lothan has been obliterated. There was nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. And that, my friends, is going to be the end of the campaign. Now, like I said, I do apologize. I really planned for this video to have a lot more content because we had a good fight down in the Circle of Destruction against Blan and the Wise. We could have then just added this bit to the end just to show us finishing them off, but we could have had at least one decent fight. But with how I'm feeling, this is how we're going to do it. So, all I can say really is I hope you guys have enjoyed the campaign. I, despite the up and downs that we've had, I have enjoyed the campaign. I really like the idea of playing as the Wood Elves, but instead of going for the typical targets that the Wood Elves do, we went up against the High Elves and the Dark Elves. Now, the Dark Elves admittedly weren't much of a threat to us, but High Elves have proven their worth, and it was really fun going up against them. The only problem, I think, was that they turned out to be very stubborn and not wanting to die. Because I think we spend way too much time on them in the campaign than I was hoping to do. And we did see with things like... Remember, for example, when we pretty much got them down to the last couple of regions down here. And then we were going to sail up there in order to take their land up here. And then despite being the weaker of the two, they managed to confederate with Alifanar and Nagorith. So all of a sudden then we had a few stacks coming over from Nagorith's armies that now belong to Lothurn. So Lothurn stuck around a lot longer than I expected them to. And if we dealt with them much more quickly, and although to say that, I don't know how we could have got rid of them much more quickly without having more armies. But yeah, they were a challenge and I quite enjoyed that aspect. The shocking moments where we had Karazakarak Karak declare war on us and get everybody then to turn on us, that was a shock to the system. If that didn't happen, I think I would have been quite happy to try and do more of the campaign, but I can tell you, just trying to do the fights every end turn, it was just wearing me down. <laughs> Basically, it's one of the reasons why I don't want to go back and try and re-record the footage, because that was eight turns of close battles, Val's anvil nearly got destroyed, the long long forest I, I didn't mention already did get destroyed. We defended it against Boris, but I think it was Osland came in and defeated the garrison after we fought off another bat army there, and they attacked the weakened garrison. There wasn't anything I could do against it. And then they burned it down, and then Hotland came and confederated. But, yeah, if that didn't happen, though, if Council Karak didn't make their declaration of war, I think we could have continued with the campaign some more and even get to the end goal of doing the Oak of Ages and then fighting the final battle. But that wasn't meant to be, it seems. But I have enjoyed it, for what it's worth. And I do like the Wood Elves. I think it would have been better they had a different mechanic from the Amber. Because that has just been annoying, because you have to use the Amber for everything. From recruiting, you know, units which don't uniquely belong to your faction. You know, like the Tree Men and Treekin for us. Or if you were playing as uh, Durfu, it would have been things like the War Dancers, the uh, Wild Riders and so on. I think if that needs a, an update, and I hope that Creative Assembly do do that at some point. Because I think that's a downside for many people. I've seen quite a lot of people actually use mods to just get rid of the Amber requirements. But then, I suppose it is an interesting mechanic. It's certainly unique to the Wood Elves, at least. I do like how they've had it so you have to do outposts rather than just have full settlements. Because, but then... I suppose they actually do need a reason, don't they, to leave Athel Lauren, which we came up with by going for the revenge of Alasara's death, which I think now we can safely say we've done. So, I'm going to end it here. Next on the agenda is, I'm personally I'm thinking after recording tomorrow's episodes, I'm going to take a few days off. I just need a bit of time to recharge my batteries a bit, not just from today, but I think in general. But I will be working on a couple of things. I know I need to pick out some new campaigns to do with um, the Gwa sorry, with the Warden and the Polch DLC coming out. 
There has been some mention about wanting me to do a green skin campaign, which I would like to do. But it'd be a case of deciding which lord to use. I would have loved to have done Asgard. Uh, sorry, Asgard the um, Slaughterer. But he's been a popular choice with many other YouTubers because of him having a new starting position. So, might be somebody else. But we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching this campaign. I have hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. And that you continue to support the channel and check out other content as and when they come out. But until then, guys, take care, stay safe, and goodbye for now.